Hello and welcome back to Darkwood. We had probably some of the most intense moments that uh, I've ever had in Darkwood. So that was really cool and scary, but awesome in its own way. Oh, I like that I can't sell this thing. Anyway, I think our first order of business is somewhat obviously that we should go check on the tree because that was some, uh, that was quite something. And I wanna know, I wanna know whether uh, the old man has something to say or if the tree, if the tree has changed or what. Come on. That's just a part of the woods, right? Been in there, right, I think? What was that? I just heard a low grumbling sound. Is it over here? Hmm. Are those skeletons? Were those always there? I don't remember them. At least those are still there. Nothing new. this isn't where I want it to be. I'm a little confused. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to go in here. I didn't want to go over here. That's right. That's right. Ashes. Oh, look at that. What? What's that you're saying? Oh, okay, you got nothing. Really? 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 You just, you watch that thing burn, you're like, well, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna check my journal then. It's probably the more... The tree, oh, okay, so I actually wrote something. I set the tree on fire, it looks like the cripple is right. It looks like it will take a while before the tree burns down completely. I may need to come back tomorrow. It worked! Only ashes remain of the tree. I feel like I'm nearing the end of my journey. Is it possible? I'm going to guess it's not actually possible. But there's more to this than meets the eye. So when he said that it would come back to- okay, so that wasn't clear. I thought that it would survive until tomorrow. I don't know if I should. There are things I want to do. There are things I want to do. I'm gonna go do those things first. This feels ain't gamey. Especially since it hinted at it for me. So let's run off. I don't know if I'll have enough time. I'll, why don't you say- you should say something different. Because what you just witnessed was everything you wanted me to do. And this should bring you joy of some kind. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go for maybe the radio tower. Huge lake and radio tower, and maybe exploring down there were the things I wanted to do. <sighs> I didn't actually think that the tree would be dead. I'll have to go back and look at why I didn't think that, 
but I think that was a reasonable thing to think. Like, the way the dialogue was structured seemed to suggest that, like, it was like, oh, the tree is, like, you know, squishing the... putting out the fire with its roots. I'll need to come back tomorrow. That made it sound to me like... You know, as if it was successfully putting out the fire with its roots, and that I would need to, um... Come back tomorrow and set it on fire again or something, or see about an alternative approach. Because it was totally like, yep, this isn't gonna work. Sheesh. I can walk over the those, that's good. Alright, let's go look at... Ugh. Where are we? This place is a lot bigger than it seems like it is on the map. Which is almost a problem. We talked about that before, I think. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, come on, really? Mean? I realize now that those guns are not, in fact, even remotely dangerous. Well, they are, because I get hurt by them, but they're not supposed to be that dangerous. Shouldn't have to knife them, but it's convenient, so I'll keep doing it. Cause it's easy. Do not know what the uh, radio tower is. We're just taking off. I think we're here, right? Is it up here? Is that it? I think that's it. Right? Uh, is it something over here? Yeah, there we are, the corpse. Alright, hopefully I will need this less than I have in the past. Let's just switch then. Switch back to that. Wow, what's this? Is this the radio tower? I kind of like these out of bounds areas though. They're, they're kind of cool. They're different. Crows, huh? That makes me think Banshees. Has it now? That can't be good. It's also already about two. Anything over here? Mushrooms? That would be a good place to hide mushrooms. Anything over here? Doesn't look it, right? Oh! Mushrooms! Hooray! Can I make antidotes on the fly? I can't. That is a shame. attack me. Everything will be fine. Oh man, that's a terrifying sound. <laughs> Are you attacking me? Or 
trying to. Seems like if I want to go that way, I have no choice, right? Oh! Hello! Oh! Dead Banshee Baby. So these are Banshee Babies. I can't click on them. Why did you come after me? But not the others. There you are. Took the knife them. Oh, okay, now they're all coming for me. Slowly. Oh wow, your motion's weird. Whoa! Oh, no, that's, that's you dying. That's good. Oh, come on. Jeez. Saved by my own blood. That's kind of embarrassing, in a way. What? Oh, there's one left. Hey. It's just skull cracked. Alright, well, I'm sure that'll... Our night is surely going to be fun. I'm sure that Mama... Mama Banshee will love that. Why can they patrol a little bit? And how they're kind of awkward at it. They're definitely younglings. I'm starting back now, just because it's about time. So there is a whole area over here that I want to make sure I do first, I guess. Oh, I can drag this. Is there anything under you? That's the only question I ask. You can't climb on you or anything, right? Just push it around. And then now I know that I don't actually need a uh, thing. But what's with the corpse? That's the part I don't totally get yet. There's some relationship between banshees and skeletons? I mean, I guess that's implicit. They're like skeletal bird things. But is it something like, um, you know, it's the remains, transformed remains of a person who is already decomposing or something? Hmm, I wonder if that was me. Look at it. Don't worry about it. Just don't don't look at it. It's fine. Oh boy, of course I have to go over there. This can't be easy. Of course it can't be. I'm actually kind of glad I took off when I did. It seems like five is the uh, time you want to start taking off. Here we are. We're home. Good. Oh yeah. Yeah, so there's at least one sleeping one. Where is that scrap metal? There we are. Alright, I think we have gas, so I'm not worried about that. Alright, what do we got? We can make an antidote. So that's good. That I will sell in the morning. I will put that away. I don't think I need to repair anything quite yet. I want to sell that to them or start using it because the military, I don't know. I'm going to at least try using it just to see what the difference really is. And i got to put away a flare elsewhere. So, alright, not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's just the thing. Oh yeah, the flare goes in the other one. Well, whatever. We'll wait for when I can go get health. One. Here we are. Here's health. Now I am waiting. I w there will probably be Wrath of Banshees, I'm sure. 
That just seems like the logical thing. There we go. Ta-da! Yeah. That's doing well. Don't need the oven anymore. Right. Let's just... Oh, well, I guess there shouldn't be another fire event, because uh, the tree is dead, so... I really liked that event conceptually. It was like a story event that takes place in the night. I think that's really cool. somewhere, I guess. I'll go smash it later. So far, so good. In fact, almost too quiet. considering the shotgun. I don't know that it would really help me anywhere yet, but you know, I did make it. Oh, that's just the eye. I really wish I knew more about those things too. Everything in the swamp is so mysterious. Like those things, they're connected to those things, to the, those things are connected to those things, wow. They're connected to little tentacle things, obviously, but it's unclear, and they're underground, somehow, but it's unclear how, like, what they are, and, uh, you know, what they, uh, like, what, how they came to be, I guess, like, what's their role in all of this? Are they also people, or is this just another creature that developed? alien creature. Yep, it's over there again. sound somewhere but I don't know if it's just the music it's a pretty quiet night so far at least I really can't see out of the windows anymore Two of you now? And that's just that thing. Well, that was the most uneventful night I think we've had so far. Almost tempted to just go outside and run. Forty, I think, will be good. All right? Who's out there? Half pips. Hey, you guys. It's been a little while. I don't actually, I mean, this, I guess, if that. 
think I'm running low on that. Let's go check, actually. What am I low on? Um, yes, I am, in fact, kind of low on these. There should be more of them. I don't need to make anything with them, though, so that's good. I can just sort of stock up on them. I do have enough to make a Molotov, which is kind of interesting. Where's my Molotov? Did I tuck it away? Because I never use it. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Um, yeah, you know what? <laughs> just, just so much... So much rep, and I'll make another one of these, because why not? At this point, why the hell not? Oh, I didn't know I could be buying shells. I mean, I'm sure I, I actually noticed it before, but they're kind of pricey. Anyway, I'm just going to try and consume some of these um, build parts that I have. Uh, one barrel. This would be a way to consume two barrels, right? Because I don't really want... I don't like... Well, I guess I could have tried to make a bolt-action rifle just because I don't have it yet. Here you go! Oh, it's 170. Why? Is that because... Is it... Hold on. Because I think the value is driven by just whatever drives that status. Whether that status is actually... In a sense, correct. Or not. Can I reload this without equipping it? Alright. So 175, and yeah, 350. So it does, which it it really shouldn't. Like, this thing is not worth half as much just because it has one less shell in it. I like that the shells go into it, but I feel like they should add... Like, this should be 350, and it should be, you know, four... Like, plus a shell value for each shell in it, rather than uh, the current scheme. So I was still on net profitable, which is surprising, I guess. Um, I don't know that I actually want to... Well, I do want to buy one of these, because I just wasted one. Let's just go ahead and buy two of them, because why are we... And, and all the gasoline. There is no reason to care. And make another lockpick. And now we don't need to make a lot more lockpicks because we have a full stash, which is good. That's nice. It's a good place to be in. Um, I'm going to go put away all the things. It's notably the new shell that I've got for the thing. That's the wrong one. Shells, go away. Yeah, good. Good job. I feel like I should dispose of some flares too. I'm going to take some flares with me and just sort of throw them kind of willy-nilly. Maybe, um, hmm. I was just thinking that they might be better suited to exploring the, uh, the, what's it called? The huge lake, which is not really a lake at all in any conceivable notion of a lake. That instead, though, um, I do want to have the second flashlight just to test it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to. Oh, hello. Here you are. Hmm. Oh wow, that's it. I get two. Man. Okay. Oh, okay, so it prioritizes the things you haven't searched, I think? Maybe? Or I just got lucky. It would be nice if it did, though. That actually makes a lot of... That would make a lot of things easier. If I could rely on that. Alright, you three. Here's your meat. Hooray! We're all friends here. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll pick that up if I get weapon parts, I guess, or maybe tomorrow. I'm curious about making the bolt-action rifle and maybe using, you know, the one bullet I have for it on something before uh, wrapping everything up. This also looks like there should be something there. Alright, let's go to the radio tower and uh, see what- well, no- ah, oh, damn it! Mm. I just noticed that because we killed two of the centipedes, my axe is now in the uh, lower region of things, which makes me a little bit... It's low enough that I would want to repair it. Let's put it that way. I don't know that it's gonna, you know, go worthless on me, but it's too close. It's a few hits, right? Like, I have a few hits left with it, and I don't really like being in that situation. Because all I have after that are, um, is that the arm that hit me? Probably. All I have after that are the, uh, I guess we can open it in this direction, which is actually better. Alright, well, we made good time. Two here. How long was that? Uh, it's now 8.50, so about an hour. So, in theory, we should be able to, like, as long as we can make it to this cave at 6, we're good. Really? Oh, okay, there we are. <laughs> I just, I just got lost. Oh, it's a different map, I think. That's how it works. Is this corpse searchable? I did search it, okay. It's very blue. Was it blue before? test this out. Come on. Come on. There's a... There, there are more of you as time goes on. Alright. <laughs> oh, you charge at the last the last stages. Come on. <laughs> yep, I get close. That's three of you. I don't think it's gonna work out in my favor to be s killing all these infant things. Oh, uh, damn it! Oh, were those. Those better not have been useful mushrooms. I hope they aren't. That would make me very sad. Alright, so I think that's all the mushrooms. Nothing over here. Crows flying overhead shadows effect is pretty cool. Oh, you poor things. Come here. Put you out of your misery. Here we go. That's the better way to do it. More babies? Okay. These seem like they'd be very dangerous in a group. I can see that already. Mmm, like that. That looks very dangerous. One at a time. Two at 
damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I guess, why not? Annoying part is, we have to recover it every time. Oh man, the range is so nice. I don't think I've ever actually used them that way before, just to pick something off like that. That felt way too good. <laughs> that was just way too rewarding. Don't like that. Don't like that. Does this go somewhere? No, okay, so that looks like where I want to go, so I'm going to go this way first. Banshee nests? Is that what this is? More mushrooms? There's a thing. There's the thing that's going to open my way out, I guess. But I don't know that I've been over there. I haven't. Hmm. Rag. Okay. It's a power station? Well, it was a radio tower, that's right. I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess I could. This is a way to. Oh no, that's a whole new area, right? Yeah. More things in it. I don't necessarily have to assassinate those, so I'm going to try not to. I do, don't I? Damn it. Let's go this way first. This way seemed a little bit more interesting. It has these things. Multiple of them. Holy crap. What? Ah! What can you do? Oh, you can... okay, I can like... can I... hmm... I'm curious. Can I stack a crate on top of it? To effectively not have to worry about it anymore. I can! That's kinda cool. I should go walk around it before I, you know, do that to it. There's another crate. Okay. Ooh, axe edge. Hmm. The thing that worries me is the timing basically. Oh man, that's slow. Holy crap. Don't care about the fabric. I guess the three would like the book. Ooh, what happened there? Or there? Hey, it's the eye thing. Oh man. Pile of corpses. How is this related to all the banshee babies? Or, well, I guess this was food for them? That's a lot of corpses. Why are there so many corpses at the radio tower? Good key, huh? Does one of you have it? They're all outside the radio tower, I guess. That might be important. Oh, okay, so I've now made, like, I can make a shortcut now, so I can come back and explore more without having to, uh, ah, that scared me. <laughs> without having to, uh, do it all from scratch. Oh, this is the ruined radio tower. Okay, hi! Okay, so I did manage to walk around it all. I don't 
need you, right? Okay, good. Remember, as long as we can make it to the front by six, we're good. Need a key. That looks conspicuous. Oh, well, I guess it's just on top of the tree. Have I been over there? I think I have. Just mashing E. Like, give me a corpse, I haven't searched yet. In case one of you has... there we are. None of you has a key, huh? Little door locked out. Hmm. All right. I think we should go now. Mm, this kind of time limit's a little lame for this kind of stuff. I think this would be a good case to stop time and just let me explore that area. I get that it's in the overworld and everything, but it just, um, I don't know, having to deal with the timer while I'm exploring an area is interesting like that. Just sort of, I don't feel it enhances the experience in any way. I think it just detracts from it. I like how I have myself a nice, like, pretty easy to decipher path back <laughs> made of dead bodies and man-shaped holes in the ground. Ah, oh, man. This game is something else sometimes. I say after I've been, you know, attacked in the middle of the night by the, uh, perverted spirits of the corpses that made up a human tree that I set on fire. Yeah. I think we jumped ship long time ago. Yay, we're here. I think there's one in here, right? The the way it sounds is it sounds almost as if there was one like a guy up here somewhere. I killed both of them. Hmm. Which has the extra yeah, the extra one thing? All right, come on. Uh, right. I should prepare the axe because need to. Oh, I have more. Well, that is a weapon part. I can't make antidotes because fuck me, I guess. Um, I have that. I want to sell that. I want to sell that. I have this. I won't be needing that. I can swap that out. Okay. All good. This is the last... No, no, I have plenty of generator. I thought I saw... I saw the indicator for something else that was below, like, its halfway point, I guess. Let's see if it's just another uneventful night, or what. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Anything left to do? Nope. Probably not. Well, I keep forgetting to do this. Which I guess speaks to how often it is actually useful. I wish I could dismantle this door and rebuild it. Because it is weak. And I don't like that. It makes me nervous. Ah. <sighs> I guess. I almost feel like I want to move the flares over to here. Already? Okay, I think that one's in here this time. As happens sometimes, for reasons completely unclear. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I don't get these. There's two things I don't get about them. One, if this, um... This can't be how they're intended to work. So, how are they supposed to work? Because, like, if it just spawned that guy in my 
hideout for no reason? Like, that just seems lame. Why would you do that? I mean, I know we were playing Darkwood, but, like, it's always been fundamentally fair. Just spawning a guy in my hideout is not really fair. There's no reason for that. Um, so, yeah, it's probably not the intent that just spawning centipede dudes spawn in your, <laughs> in your hideout every night. But I'm guessing that because of this we're going to have another silent night, as it were. I'm guessing we broke it because we're basically done, but uh, also somehow not leaving, so... I almost want to just go outside and see what happens. And I guess while we're trying to test the... Uh, smaller flashlight, we can carry it around instead and see if there's ever an instance where we're like, man, I wish I had the other flashlight. It's, well, that's not really fair. We do want to have them side by side to be like, hey, this is really dark. What does it look like with this? What does it look like with this? What's the difference? How much more battery does it consume? Because I'm out of batteries, right? Like, that's it. That's all I got. These two. So maybe having a spare entire flashlight, rather than selling it, is it a terrible idea? I'm gonna do that. Since we are looking at a future where I don't have, uh, because I was gonna try to sell that to the three, because it's usually a good amount of stuff, but since I have no more flashlights, I'm gonna just get it to, uh, keep it here, and we'll use it when we run out of, run out of, uh, stuff. Let's try 7.30 this time. We'll head out and just probably start running. Nothing even pushed on it. So I know we're pretty good. Yep. Alright. There's literally nothing out here. Eh. <sighs> I guess day 28, I mean, with our chapter 1 time, this would be m way more than day 20. They don't like books! What rubes! But yeah, I do wanna. Just cause I can. And yeah, just cause I can. I don't think they'll actually take the, uh... Like, they won't accept parts for the axe, right? Needs five tape. It's a lot of tape. I guess they sell tape. So I shouldn't be too worried about that. I want to give that to them. I think there's also a, uh, yeah, that, that is what we are here for. Except we've also got two pistols we need to make at some point. What does it take to make a pistol? Uh, oh, I guess I could have made them and started trying to sell them, but meh. We've also not really met any vendors in this area, have we? There's just three. I don't want to sell it to them. I want to maybe try it on something. I do want to sell those because they are completely worthless to me, though. And we'll put away the, the, the extra gas that we've got now. 
good. We've got one more knight in there. And I'm not gonna fill it up, cause meh. Mostly just cause meh. Uh huh. Okay. Repair this knife. Which costs the same as repairing the entire axe, which I still resent. That can go there. It makes a little bit more room. Hmm. Sticks. I think there's a couple of, uh... I'm pretty sure there's a couple of, like... What are they called? The... Nope. The... Little villager... Crazed villager places with a, uh... Oh, that's where it took two of them from? What? Why would you do that? I don't want to carry it around right now, though. And that is just a waste of inventory. Like, that is literally all that it is. It's just waste inventory space. Not that I'm doing a super great job of conserving it at all possible costs, but... You know what? Here. You can go into what I hope someday becomes a giant pile of books. Hello, I. Alright, let's go get two planks from the our repository. All this useless fabric. I guess it's good that there is fabric to spare for the upgrades. But it just eh. I mean I can't make any more upgrades, right? Every time I if I try to, he'll just say I can't make any more of those. Yeah. He doesn't even say, like, the problem is you don't have the things. The problem is I can't do that anymore. Alright. Is there anything else we want from you? I guess we might want tape. So that we can eventually make an axe and then just give it to you because why not? Because making stuff is fun. That's why. And, uh, we also will need weapon parts. I guess we could be buying weapon parts from them every free night just making one of those. We, we have the reputation to spare now, so I feel comfortable doing that. Alright, one more day and I think we'll, uh, that will be this episode, because I think, well I hope, that's enough to um, wrap up the radio tower, which makes a very, probably one of the more concise and like well-defined uh, episodes, really because it's pretty much just constantly me at the radio tower, except for the very beginning, where I tried to go possibly end the chapter. This is clearly an extra area, so I'm glad we're going there, because maybe we'll learn some of the stuff that sort of pieces together the story that I've been missing. I've tried to remember now, because I was thinking about the elephants, and how I don't really... Like, that story, the way it's told... I like the concept. The way it's told didn't really sit very well with me. Like, I didn't really, you know... I feel like I'm supposed to care about whether or not I leave the boy with his granny, who may or may not be crazy, and his mom, who probably is definitely crazy. Um, but I really didn't. Like, they just sort of came out of nowhere, and, um... They don't really have any interesting attributes. I don't know. It, it just seemed a little bit too quick and forced. Anyway, now is the time to focus. What is that? Is that a thing? Or is that just ground? Ground. Good. I like ground. Harmless ground is good. So I am looking for a metal key. That's what I'm gathering here. Are there any more corpses here? Uh, I hope this works. Can I look at you? Okay. Good. What? Oh, there's a box over here. I'm tempted to drag this just so that I can shut up all these things. Alright, there we go. And we take this other crate, start moving it towards one of these other two, and it 
definitely looks like I'm going to need to, you know, stop at least one of you, so... If I want to get anywhere. Come on. Alright. Good. What? I am just trying to look around. And not die. third one. Oh, hey! You are the first other living human. Are we? I don't. Do you? That's good. Yeah. I really can. Given the things I've seen, that is really not even close to the thing. Which friend? Probably not me, right? Drawn here, huh? I'm guessing he means that we're drawn. Oh, will I become the... To whom? Yeah, I know what this is. That's stupid. And you want to get out. I wonder if he says we're drawn here to the woods? Or to this radio tower? Radio tower is definitely supported by all the people there. Hmm. Don't really feel good about it, but at the very least I can console myself in that he uh Probably A going to become a chomper. And B. He did literally ask me to do it. Demanded I do it, so. And given the rules of the way, you know, Darkwood works, it seems like death might be the only escape <laughs> from whatever this horrible nightmare is. Fine, whatever, I'll carry it around. Alright. Radio equipment. Civilian radio overgrown with roots. The underground tunnels? Don't that to me. So this, yeah, okay, it's a radio tower, and it has this weird bunker. He got it confused there. Fuel tanks and oxygen tanks. Alright. I'm thinking the game just crashed. Or, well, it got hung. The mouse is still working. Escape does nothing. Um, what else has done things? Q does nothing. E does nothing. Alrighty then. That's annoying, because I, th I thought this was the thing that was in one of the patch notes as well, that sometimes people go into the baking void when they go into the radio tower, and so... Yeah. Alright, well... <sighs> Let's see where uh, where it spawns us if I... So I'll tab out. Quit. I 
I don't know what's going to happen to the video. Hopefully it's not disastrous. Let me also pull up the uh, notes. Alright. Let me double check that we're still recording. Yes, it looks like we are probably still recording, so I'm just going to fire up the thing and see. Meanwhile, I'm going to read the news and see if, uh... Oh, okay, it says removed option to go into the radio tower on the ground, which resulted in being stuck in the black void. So I'm guessing that I'm not really supposed to, um, go into the underground, basically. But I'm pretty sure that I have that update, don't I? Like, how do I, how do I check if I have a hotfix? Oh well. Well, either way, I was still somehow able to go in there, so apparently, uh, that's, that's a known bug. So, what else is left to do? I mean, I guess we could go kill more Banshee babies? But that doesn't really seem like a good use of our time. I still feel like maybe there was more to it, but I don't see where it would have been. Yeah, I mean there was the underground and then there was that, so at least I'm glad that I that I spawned here and not in the permanent black void, because that's good. That's probably after we traded stuff with them too, so we can just go ahead and deposit that. And I think uh, with that slightly sour note, actually, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode, because there's not a whole lot else. If I can't go into that underground, I'm pretty sure there's nothing left for me to do at the radio tower. So then I'm just gonna go explore the huge lake next time. And uh, after that, uh, probably, well, what looks very likely to be wrapping up, so I might go explore down here or up here first and see what we find in kind of a wrap-up episode like I did for 7-1. Um, just cause, well, it's all new territory and I want to make sure that I see all the things that there is to see. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next episode.